In this video, I just want to show you some texturing that I've done of the uh, Alien Isolation Pipe Bomb, originally designed by Jack Perry for the computer game uh, Alien Isolation. So here we have just the ambient occlusion render. All right, so I've got my guy here, I've got my guy over here, and I don't have any, any textures uh, on this. Uh, also, <laughs> as I look here, you can see that my tape is sort of sticking up um so i sort of address that in the coming images now um a lot of people would probably use uh, substance painter if they had the money to buy it um or other things and i'm going to show you uh, an alternative to that and the alternative is smudger pro all right it costs 30 dollars. it's a blender add-on and it's available uh from the blender market here and of course that supports the uh, creator of this and it's very easy to use um, you don't have to uv unwrap your models you can but you don't have to um, and it's you know it's a fraction of the price of, of substance painter if you get the perpetual uh, license it's probably uh, five or six times cheaper and it does a nice job um, and it's got some advanced features that I haven't even really looked into um, so uh, I, I'm going to show you some stuff that I've done uh, with it all right so this is uh, textured here with smudger pro which is a blender add-on and I'll do another video showing uh, the use of that a little bit it integrates right into the materials um, panel there and so you do it right in in blender and it creates the nodes for you uh, as well so here you can see uh, one view of my uh, pipe bomb. Uh, I will say that the label was provided uh, by a friend. So thank you very much for that. And I don't know how well you can see the textures. Um, I did do the textures for the cylinders and, and basically all the parts except for, I think, the wires. Um, uh, I did them in Smudger, uh, Smudger Pro, but I just did the wires just with a plasticky material uh, in Blender. So let's have a look at a few views. We zoom in. Uh, you can see that there are some scratches. I don't know how visible, maybe they're visible more over here. There's some scratches on here. There is some uh, dust and smudges on pretty much everything except for the wires. Although I may have put a little bit on the wires. No, it's on the elastics. Uh, it's not on the label here. I just left the label clean. And again, I know my tape doesn't look that that good on the elastics, but I'm okay with it for now. All right, so there's that view. Here's another view here, and I, I put a green light down there. I've got a blue light over here. I've got a white light there, you know, or a yellowish light there. I've got another light there. I think I've got another light there. I've got an environment, an HDR uh, image in there as well okay so again um, just very quick with uh, with smudger pro um, to get you know an, a nice look here we'll just have a look at this one as well I've got the two of them there uh, on, on this one depending on again when the light is you can really see over in this area and this area the the textures and here and you can see some of the the, the texture on the plastic of the battery there so again, if you can't um, afford or you don't want to get into the, the, you know, sort of the complexities of substance paint, it's not that bad, but, you know, uh, you want something that's just really quite simple. Uh, Smudger Pro is a great, uh, is a great option for you. So that's the Alien Isolation Pipe Bomb. Like I say, I'll make a little video just showing a little bit of the use of Smudger Pro. And I'm uh, ready to move on to the next thing. So thanks very much for watching.